Hello, my name is uh, Olaf Klungel. I'm an associate professor at uh, Utrecht University, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to uh, the E2P domain on medicines benefit risk assessment on behalf of the whole trainers team. If you think about uh, benefit risk assessment and the modules that we uh, provide in this uh, specialization, it's all about decision making. And uh, for easy decisions, uh, you do not need to be much well informed and you can trust on your gut feeling. But um, if it concerns medicines, you need a well, uh, well documented uh, evidence on the benefits of medicines, the risks of medicines, and perhaps also the costs of medicines uh, to make a uh, decision that is rational. So that's what our domain is about. So it's the costs, the risks, and the benefits that play a major role in this decision making. But how should we balance uh, benefits and risks? What are balance, uh, what are benefits and risks actually? There are several uh, definitions for that. Um, but the balancing of benefits and risks also really depends on the stakeholders. So from a regulator perspective, it's about benefits and risks in a population. A provider evaluates the benefits and risks for a patient, and the patient, uh, him or herself, evaluates the risk in terms of the personal values. So it's, the decision is uh, depending on the stakeholder, and how to balance these benefits and risks is also uh, um, a matter of a stakeholder perspective. Uh, so benefits and risks is, is, uh, are global terms. But if you think about benefits uh, uh, in medicines, uh, it's usually about efficacy, but it's broader than that. It can also be about convenience of administration of a drug, um, the quality and duration of a life associated with a drug therapy. Um, and on the risk side, uh, we, uh, we usually think about safety, so adverse effects uh, that can be very, very severe, sometimes fatal, but perhaps um, with a low probability. Other uh, side effects that may be less severe uh, also have an impact, and uh, for instance, uh, the tolerability, uh, which may affect compliance with uh, with the drugs, and therefore also uh, contributes to this uh, uh, benefit risk balance. So that brings me to the uh, objective of our domain, of our specialization. In our um, teaching, we would like to provide you an overview and a basic insight into benefit risk assessment methods, including pharmacoeconomics and the process of decision making on medicines by different stakeholders. Um, and when you progress through our modules, uh, you will get a detailed insight into these uh, methodologies uh, and in the end also be able to apply these benefit-risk assessment methods in daily practice. So let me conclude by wishing you good luck with our uh, modules. Thank you.